welcome back to my channel. I'm Mascara Cakes. So I made a poll on Instagram in my stories to see if anybody wanted to see a story time about my accident. Because today, September 12th, is the... It happened in 05. The 13th anniversary of me still being alive. I think that's pretty awesome. So... Sometime in September, no, October, the end of September, beginning of October, I don't remember the dates. I have them somewhere, I just don't feel like going to get them. I woke up in a hospital. It was hard to breathe, my mom was there. Well, at first nobody was there. I was by myself, so it was kind of weird. But eventually... They tell me, and I can't talk. You'll find out in a minute. So I can't talk, but I'm in a hospital. I wake up. Like, what the fuck's going on? So, I find out my mom gets there from wherever she is. And I find out I was in a car accident. And on September 12th, 2005... I had gotten back home from work. I work as a waitress. And I was going back out to see somebody. Hang out with them. Whatever. I don't know. And I, at that time I lived out in like the boonies. There was like a two lane highway. That way and that way. That's it. And on this highway D is a literal 90 degree turn. I took a video of it and I'll show it to you up here. So, and I was going that way and instead of taking the turn, I went up on the shoulder and I had a, uh, I don't remember what year, I think 2001 Mitsubishi Eclipse Convertible Silver. Pretty sexy. Yeah, it was pretty hot. And the lid was closed, but I didn't have my seatbelt on. So I'm going that way, and in the curve, and I go up on the shoulder, and the car rolls down. The car rolls down the shoulder. I fall out of the car, and the car lands on, and the car rolls down and falls on top of me. And nobody, I was in I wasn't in the car with anybody. Nobody was there when the, I guess, ambulance came. James! Nobody was in the car with me. There was no car coming. I didn't run into any other car. I didn't. What, honey? You can close it. There was no other car in the accident with me. It was just me. Nobody was the, nobody knows who called it in. Nobody waited around, whoever called, nobody really knows. So nobody knows who called or anything like that, nobody st stuck around. So my family thinks whoever caused the accident called, but... I so I don't know. I don't know. But I guess the ambulance gets in and they realize they can't give me that way, so they call in. James, please be quiet. So they call in a helicopter, and I am airlifted to the hospital. I've never been in a helicopter, and I've been in one once, but I don't remember it, so that kind of sucks. So I'm airlifted to the hospital. I broke three ribs. I punctured my lung. I broke the second vertebrae in my neck. Which apparently it was broken in a different part of that vertebrae in a different way. I could have been paralyzed for life or instantly dead. But I wasn't. I just broke my neck. <laughs> Had to have a one of those things. A collar for a while. And then Oh. I got of course I'm wearing a long sleeve. 
<laughs> I got this burn. It was a lot worse. But I had a skin graft from my thigh to my arm. Yeah. I'll see if I can find a better picture of it. But, so, if someone touches my arm, I slap them and say, Stop getting fresh with me. Don't touch my thigh. Because I'm silly and stupid. But, oh, and then, you can't really see it anymore. That was from a tracheotomy. They had to put it in there so I could breathe. So I had a trach. Oh, and then I was in a coma after the accident for like a month. And I don't remember the month before that. I don't really remember the couple weeks after I woke up. It was all kind of blurry and not too sure what happened, but. Recovery was kind of a bitch. I had to relearn how to walk. I couldn't walk. Definitely had to relearn how to walk. I had to relearn. Oh, I broke my jaw. Yeah, so I broke my jaw here and here. <clears throat> <clears throat> so that's why I couldn't talk when I woke up because my mouth <laughs> was wired shut. So, my mom said, that we were in the hospital, my mom said, wow, Kara, I wish you would really remember some of that sign language that you knew. And as soon as she said that, I started doing the alphabet. And that's how we communicated. I signed everything. And even after I started talk, signing was just easier sometimes. So I did that. But yeah, so I had to relearn how to walk. I had to... I had to relearn how to do addition, subtraction, like math. I had to relearn how to do a lot of that kind of stuff. Like school stuff. And then, let's see what else. It was all just a whole mess. <laughs> so before the accident, I was doing some not so very smart things. I was really into lots of drugs. I was doing a lot of ecstasy and... Lots of bad stuff, so actually getting the accident worked in my favor, I guess you could say, because <laughs> it straightened my shit out, and and because I was stuck at home all the time, I was on the computer a whole lot, because I had to also, I couldn't drive, so I had to relearn how to drive and all that kind of shit, but before I relearned how to drive, I... I was on the computer a whole lot because I was stuck at home. And that time I met my husband. If you haven't seen that story, I'll put it up in the cards because I figured out how to do cards. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm happy I got in the stupid accident. You know, at the end of everything. But, it was a whole process relearning how to walk, how to do all the smart shit. The math and spelling, just all that stuff. Oh, and ha, another thing, I got a traumatic brain injury, a TBI. Because, like, right here, I guess, scraped on the concrete. Well, not right. Well, I hit it really hard right here. There's nothing physical you can see there. Just inside my head got kind of fucked up. So, that's kind of, I have a TBI. If you want more information about a TBI, I'll link it below. <laughs> but I had to go back to vocational, to regular rehab, to learn how to walk better and do that kind of stuff better. And then I had to go to vocational rehab to figure out how to get back into the workforce, which obviously now isn't that big a deal, but yeah. So that is my accident. And September 12th, 2018 will be my 13th anniversary of being alive. And that makes me happy that I'm still alive. I never would have met Kevin. I never would have had these two beautiful children. And none of this, I just wouldn't be where I am now. So I'm thankful that I had a car accident. Which sounds really fucking weird, but it is. So let me know if you've ever been in an accident, car accident in a coma, any weird shit like that. Because that is my story. So thank you for watching.